Hello, and it's Teardown Tuesday. I've never had one of those before, but uh, sounds catchy. Uh, I bought this uh, ResConf, sounds a little like MindConf, uh, CPAP cleaner on eBay. And, uh, you know, it was kind of nice for about three weeks, and then it stopped working. And the problem is, is that uh, this charge light, uh, that's supposed to, after a while, turn green, and it doesn't. And of course, this is the run light, and uh, it never does run. So, uh, yeah, I bought this from Andrew Gregory Partners. And, uh, you know, <laughs> they keep promising they're going to take care of me, but uh, every video, every picture I send them, you know, they say they can't find it and send me another. You know, it goes on forever. So they're a crap dealer to, to deal with. Uh, you know, if you want to go cheap, you know, buy it. But uh, if you have trouble, you're going to be in trouble. So, uh, yeah, this is the unit. And uh, this is the high voltage unit. Uh, you can buy these on eBay, uh, a separate module. And it goes into this ion generator. It's basically an arc pad. And uh, this is the uh, 2000 MA hour uh a lithium battery this little fan that pushes air through and I was kind of surprised I thought uh, you know this thing maybe a, a wire had fallen off the battery or something like that and it would be an easy fix but I got in here and uh, let's show you what I found here's the minus side remember it's on charge right now And all we can get is 0.004 volts. And uh, if we remove the charger, I guess you saw that. If you remove the charger, you know, this is not something I recommend you do, but I've done this before. And it says uh, 0.6 ohms that way. Point six ohms this way so uh, you know the battery is a, a dead short uh, but it could be here are these uh, bypass capacitors which are across the battery so it could be them so I'm going to turn it off a second you're going to see this live and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, unsolder that well I've uh, unsoldered the positive side of the battery and it looks like really bad news for me. I got really screwed on this one. I was going to substitute in this uh, lithium battery that I got out of some old laptop. You know, not the best, but... So anyways, I checked the uh, lithium battery and it says zero ohms. But worse than that, if you go to... I unsoldered it. If you go over to uh, the positive connection, it's still shorted out. And we got zero volts there. You know, if you leave a lithium battery at zero volts for uh, you know, a week, it's going to be no good anyway. Uh, so, there's something really bad here. The IC is heating up. It looks like I'm a loser. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, that's it.